at the salon. Ugh. About to get my hair done. And I found the quarter on the ground. Yay! I definitely need to get my hair done so bad. Oh my gosh. She did. Yeah. She did fast. Mm -mm. I'm surprised. Hi. Hi guys. You doing good, baby? <coughs> yeah, good. Okay. You also Very good. Let me see if I see it. Hello, mates. Um. So I'm about to go for a walk with one of my great friends Shelly and her dog Sugar. I'm actually really excited about it because I haven't seen them in quite a while and you know they're just like I don't know I, I feel like I need to spend time with them because they've always been people or well the dog is not a person but he might as well be but I feel like they've always brought me so much joy in my life and so I just kind of feel like man like I need I need to spend time with them because they're just they're just good energy, you know, good vibes. Anyway, so I'm not really like dressed up fancy or anything like that because I'm just going for a walk. It's kind of like exercise and and I've been stuck in a British accent for quite a while because I've been watching this show that my friend Kimberly told me about. It's called Peep Show and it's it's a British show and it's hilarious and I love practicing my British dialect <laughs> and so I don't know if any UK British London I don't know if any people who are authentic British speakers will watch this video and think that I'm an authentic British speaker but you know if you are an authentic British speaker and you hear this you watch this video and you hear me speaking let me know <laughs> what you think of it <laughs> because I like to work on it and make it you know oh you know make it sound good make it sound as real as possible but anyway I might be a weirdo for that I, I am a weirdo for that but I take pride in that actually the weird calling me a weirdo is like a compliment so uh, so what I'm doing right now I just came back from the grocery store uh, I'm about to leave again but you know it was what I did at the grocery store was I I, I purchased a money order and um, you know it's it just dawned on me while I was in my car that this is my last money order for my last month of rent in my own in in my first apartment oh no it just hit me and actually, every day now, since my roommate, you know, and I talked about me moving out, every day now I wake up and I walk around our apartment and I think about, dang, like, it's kind of sucks that this is my last time here, you know, and I can't believe I have to move and it just really sucks. I don't know, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm having real growing pains of becoming an adult, you know, and this is part of it where, you know, like, you know, my friend doesn't want me to live with her anymore and it just kind of sucks, you know, so, yeah. Hi, I'm here again, so I'm in my car now. Uh, I just want to say that I have a little friend that lives in my car and it's a little spider and I cannot find it anywhere and, in fact, it always leaves little like beds, you know, for me, like cobwebs or whatever. And 
I just hate it and I wish I could find it and kill it so it doesn't live anymore in my car and so I'm really 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 annoyed because it needs to get out of my car so I don't have little webs in my car when I get in because it's the worst when you run into a spider web it's just like where is it and where is it now on my face and all you can feel like you just feel it there you just like don't know how to take it off you know I was driving for uber and I saw it trickle down and I smacked it but I guess I didn't smack it there because clearly it's still living in here somewhere.